What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Man 13 video. Apologize, didn't really get the content you guys have been used to last few weeks. Took a promotion with my job, turned into a five week training seminar, really pushed back the time that I like to spend making these videos, and also working on a new episode of the Sim Football Perspective. Took up more time than I anticipated, and here we are. Keep in mind, fresh content, always gonna be available. Would appreciate if you guys took a moment, subscribe to my channel, that way you know when it's there. As always, I also ask you to hit the like button. Also, look forward to your criticism of this video in the comment section. Last but not least, I've been very active on Twitter. If you want to follow me there, my username is Shutdown Safety. Taking a look at this play at speed. And to me, when we talk about Madden 14, which obviously at the end of the development cycle of Madden 13, we will be shortly if we aren't already. These are some legacy issues, but more importantly, some Madden 14 infinity issues in terms of the real-time physics that I think need to be addressed going forward. And they all kind of come together and culminate on this one delay. You see here Michael Turner, my online CCM with the Bills, comes out and there's no gap in the line. Now there's no procedural awareness for him to maybe understand this, break to the outside, anything of the nature. Instead what he's going to do is kind of get stuck in a juke and run into my defensive end. Now when this happens, you can see he loses balance, which I'm okay with, not really much of a problem, but you know, the way these players interact and seemingly have zero strength in their body, zero skeletal structure, but more importantly, when they bump into each other, how it forces them to disengage. There you see the offensive lineman completely disengages from my defensive end, and now him and Turner are gonna kinda run up the field together. The defensive end is actually gonna be a tripping point for the offensive lineman. Now in terms of my cornerback reacting to this, he actually does a pretty good job, comes down, puts a big hit on Turner, knocks the ball loose. So far, not too big of a problem in terms of the way that hit was executed. I do like the fact that as Michael Turner got his balance back, William Moore came in with full strength and was able to jar the ball loose. The problem is, this to me shows one of the flaws that we've talked about for the longest time in terms of a fumble recovery. I want you to look at how Namibia Koye recovers this ball as it kind of spins in the air, goes in the lap of my linebacker, and then is kind of picked off of his lap. His arm then extends back into this mess of a play with the ball, and then he just kind of trips forward as the play ends and he recovers the fumble. Now, to me, one of the bigger problems we see with this game is the speed of this game. I'm just going to show this to you again and keep in perspective that this is going to be a ball carrier that misreads a gap, trips over a lineman, gets hit by a safety, and then fumbles the ball, which a defensive tackle recovers and falls to the side. Now, we all know from watching football, be about seven to eight second play. In Madden, this is really about a five second play where user control means nothing. To me, a big part of this game other than refining these interactions, making them a lot more seamless in their animation transition, is to slow this game down, allow user control to maintain a lot more presence in terms of moving a player instead of the game doing that for you, and I think we'll have a lot better product. So again, look forward to your guys' comments, and of course, I will be back in the week with more videos.